the champions as we take a gander at the Big Ten kingpin, the Iowa Hawkeyes. Forrest Evashevsky was named the Midwest Coach of the Year, and rightly so, as his team pulled the biggest surprise in Big Ten history as they surprised one and all, grabbing all the marbles. It was a team effort, too. Against Wisconsin, Bill Gravel set the pace with this scamper. Watch this bit of razzle-dazzle as Bill Happel winds up with the pigskin. He has the ball and unwinds a run good for 30 yards. <laughs> Player of the year was their quarterback, Kenny Plain, who is about to show you his flawless form as he completes a touchdown pass to Jim Gibbons in the Purdue game. Nice catch by Jim Gibbons. Let's take a peek at that same tandem, a tandem that gave Iowa fans so much to cheer about throughout the 1956 campaign. Plain throwing, and Gibbons making another impossible stop. It's Bill Happel again. Wing T formation, and shifty Bill Happel swings around the left side and goes in for the score. This was a familiar sight all year long. Plain directing the Hawkeye destinies. He really fooled our camera on that one. But there he goes up the sidelines to set up another Iowa threat. Another boy who earned the plaudits of Hawkeye Rooters is Don Dabrino. Debrino dances on a nifty pickup. Let's take a final look at Bill Happel as he goes in motion. He takes the handoff and is long gone and hard to find. Let's see him now in their historic upset of Ohio State. Plain hips the ball and rolls out to pass. Jimmy Gibbons has it, and the upset is launched. Here's the longest pass in Iowa history. Plain to Gibbons, all the way from Iowa City, Iowa, to Pasadena, California, where the Iowa Hawkeyes made their first bowl appearance a winning one defeating Oregon State College 35-19 in Pasadena's famous Rose Bowl.